Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the Hollywood Bound Actor Podcast. I'm so happy that you are here. I wanted to switch it up a little bit this year for season four of the podcast and make sure that I sprinkle in a bit more about actually doing the work of being an actor. And for me, that really is about diving deeper into character development, character creation, uh, what that process is like for me. Um, and so I plan on, I think at least once a month or every fourth episode, something like that, I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of a little bit of that, just so you can marinate on that, use some of the tips that I share to create your own juicy, compelling, unforgettable characters. So I don't want to overwhelm you. And again, this is truly me just sharing some things that I do. And if you've been listening to the podcast for a while, or if you've been following me on social media, you know, I always say there's no one way to do anything. There's no one way to do this acting thing. So don't let anybody tell you so. Um, we're all just playing and exploring and having fun, <laughs> just having fun. And I think that is one of the biggest things I want to just impart on you today as you start having more auditions or preparing for uh, actually shooting something is don't forget to have fun. Like we're, we are not doing brain surgery, like legit. This is not legit. It's not rocket, rocket science. <laughs> we get to act. And I think we're so blessed and lucky to do that. So so let's talk about it. So when I'm creating character, like I just got back um, from Toronto shooting a project and this is a very different kind of character for me, which required me um, to do what I normally do, but to do it on, on, on like, I felt like a heightened level. And so I just want to give you a few things to ask yourself as you create your next character. And again, this is for an audition. This could be just for practice or when you actually are booked. So beyond doing, of course, well, let me not say of course, because I know there are many levels of actors listening to this podcast. For many of us, we do some type of character creation, like through a crafting a character biography, where we get to know our character. And I'll say this, you know, a lot of times when I'm coaching actors, they'll say, Christine, I know you told me to do this character biography and I did all this backstory, but how do I know if anybody even sees it? How do I know like if it matters or if any of it shows up? And I want to free you from thinking about it in that way. And instead, I want you to focus on you just knowing. You knowing. And there's a strong possibility that you are wrong. <laughs> and what do I mean by that? When you get an audition, you might get two pages, you might get one scene, three scenes, right? You may not have all the information. Many times we do not have all the information about a character unless we've been given an entire script and we've getting, given a breakdown and backstory. But a lot of times we are making these characters up out of thin air, especially for an audition. And so I want you to feel free to use the clues as if you were a detective, right? Use the clues that were given to you. So in a breakdown, if it says, you know, Mary, 30s, warm, kind-hearted, the wife of Jack, right? Those are the clues that they've given us. Any adjectives that they've given us to describe the demeanor or the personality, I latch onto those. Of course, I'm seeing what the relationships are to the other people in the scene or scenes. Anything they can give us. But let's be real. Sometimes we get an audition and it's like, Mary, 30s, teacher. <laughs> Mary, 30s, lady walking down the street. Like literally, you, you have nothing. And so that is when I feel most free and like, okay, they didn't put much energy into this character. This character is supporting the story in some other way. So there's not a ton of information on her, which means they don't know what they want. They'll know it when they see it. They'll, they'll know it when it merges with the other characters, right? So I let that re relieve me of stress. I don't get stressed out by it. I used to. In my younger TV film days, I would be like, oh my God, what do they want? I don't know what they want. They just said Mary's 30 teacher. What am I supposed to do with that? Right? <laughs> Can you relate? I know some of you are nodding your head right now. 
But the beauty of shifting your way you think and saying, hey, they don't know what they want. Maybe they want me. <laughs> and then just allowing myself to create a character based on, of course, the tone of the show or the project. If I happen to have any information about the the, the production team or the producers and what they normally do, that might, that might inform my choices. So just free yourself is what I'm saying as we come into this character creation. And, and as I talk on this in future episodes, just know that we're going to be building off of, I'll just say this episode and we can continue to build from here. So outside of knowing basic things like who am I, where am I, how old am I? Again, things a script does not always provide you, right? So you're making it up to just give yourself an anchor to, to root yourself into the character. I want to offer you a few other questions um, or things to think about. I have a huge list, so I don't want to give you all of them today. But how about for the next audition that you get, you incorporate these. You ready? Number one, what kind of mannerisms does your character have? So if you're watching me on the on this on the video version of this podcast right now, I'm talking with my hands, I'm being very expressive, right? So those are just some natural Christine isms, right? So each and every one of us has uh mannerisms, whether it's the way we the way we blink, the way we smile, the way we uh chew our food, uh the little quirks about us. And I think sometimes these are moments that are missed for some actors because we're thinking of our lines and all the other stuff that feels very front facing, but a tiny little quirk that maybe no one ever catches but you. It's something you do with your fingers. Um, maybe it's just you press your thumb against your index finger when you're nervous, right? But it's not something that has to be in the frame up high so everybody sees, see, I got a quirk. I got a man, I, this is my mannerism. Y'all see it? that's not what I'm talking about. This is private. This is personal. Now, the camera might happen to catch it if you're doing a role that is, you know, recurring or we, we just happen to zoom in on it. But don't create these things for the sake of showing us, the audience, this is for you to build a character that is layered, multidimensional, and unforgettable, right? So what are those mannerisms that your character might have? And then I like to take this even a step further. Why do they have that mannerism? What triggers that mannerism? Something to think about. The next thing I want to uh, share with you is ask yourself, what bad habits does your character have? Again, the script may not talk about this at all. It could just be a scene with you and your partner and you're having an argument or it's a scene where you're having dinner or it could be a scene where you're a school teacher and you're teaching class. But what bad habits? Now, let's think, think about your own bad habits, <laughs> okay? Think about your own secret bad habits that you have that maybe no one else knows, only those who are really close to you know about. That's what I'm talking about. So this isn't even the deep, dark secret, you know, that you did something, you know, treacherous back in the day. I'm just talking about what's your bad habit, you know? You know what it is. Think about your own and think about what kind of bad habit could your character have. And then again, I like to ask myself, why is it a bad habit? Why am I attached to this thing? Why is this a vice? Right? Something to think about. Again, this is fun. We're just making it up. So before you say, how do I know if it's the right thing? You don't. There is no right or wrong here. It is just you making a choice and creating a full human being. I'm going to give you two more for today's uh, podcast. This is a good one. How does your character want to be seen or perceived by others? I love this, this prompt because if you've ever read, there's a book by Susan Batson. It's called Truth amazing book for actors. Add that to your list. I'll put it in the show notes. Um, if you're, um, I can note to myself, um, but it's called truth and you'll have to read it for yourself. I don't even want to pretend to give you the clip notes version, but there is basically a part where she talks about who our characters are, who are, what our public persona is. Right. And that's basically 
the version of us that we show to the world. What I love about that book too it is so like therapeutic because she really challenges you to look at yourself, you, the person, before you even get to the actor, like really identifying what your needs are. Each character has a need. You actually have a need. I have a need. And every the way that we operate in life is based upon the need that we have, the people we attract to our lives, everything that we do. Um, but she talks about this public persona. So this question makes me think about that. How do you want to be perceived? So you may have a character that comes off, like maybe in their, in private, they are um, reserved and, and shy and very much an introvert, but maybe they want to be perceived. Maybe the script, when you read this, the lines, the script is this, you know, calls for this character to be very um, kind of obnoxious, maybe a bit cocky, um, outspoken, right? But what if it was all an act? What if that's just the public persona and what's at the root of it, right? I think stuff like that is so juicy and so layered. And again, this isn't because this isn't necessarily mean that you're going to show this in every scene, but it's important information to know that, wow, I am this way because each and every one of us are the way we are because of something that has happened to us. You and me right now in real life, we are the way that we are. We have the habits we have. We have had the relationships that we've had because of our past, who we are, what we've experienced. It has made us who we are and our characters are no different. Mm, it's juicy, juicy. And the last one I want to offer you today is what haunts them? What keeps them up at night? What's that? What is the deep, dark secret? What haunts them? And I feel like haunt, what's something that haunts me is a little different than something that just I'm afraid of or have a fear. No, what haunts me? That's dark. And I think you can add this layer of darkness to any character, right? What is that greatest fear? What keeps them up at night? What, did, what are they running away from? And the beauty of asking questions like this, and again, doesn't mean you ask this question of all your characters, but they certainly do guide you down a different path as you go deeper into creation. And so when I see, and I'm coaching actors and they say, Christine, how do I make my, I want my audition to stand out. I want my, I want this to be different. These are some of the things that I offer outside of reminding you that you just by merely you showing up in the world is makes it different, makes it stand out. It's adding these kind of layers to characters. Again, it's the work that no one may ever see, but you know, it's there. And something about when we watch your tape, when we watch your, your uh, performance on camera, something about it's just gonna just stand out. It's just gonna sparkle just a little bit more. And I believe that's because you are deeply connected in a way that maybe everyone else is not. So I hope you found that juicy. If you did, make sure you tag me on Instagram at Hollywood Bound Actors or actress Christine Horn. Let me know your thoughts on the episode. And hey, if you've been listening to this podcast for a while, you know, you can rate it. You know, go ahead and rate the uh, rate the podcast. We appreciate that. Um, and lastly, you know, um, if this kind of stuff jazzes you up and you are, your goal this year is to book more TV in 2024, well, I definitely want to invite you to connect with me and learn more about my signature course, Book More TV. It is a game-changing course that you are going to love. And I want you to look out for, um, uh, I'm going to have some free, a couple of free webinars happening later this month. Uh, at the time of this recording, it's February. Um, I'll be hosting my How to Book the Room uh, webinar series, um, February 24th and 26th um, of 2024. And as you keep listening, I'll throw some other dates in there in the future, but that'll be a chance for you to uh, connect with me live. And I'll also be doing some more YouTube live things. I'm trying to get more on YouTube. Um, so many things I want to accomplish and I'm excited to have you along on the journey. All right, I'll see you next time. Remember to shine bright like the star that you are. Peace.